Hey guys, how's it going? Um, so today is roughly six days post-op. Tomorrow will be a week, exactly. And um, I want to say a very, like a very, very heartfelt thank you to um, to everybody who wished me luck and uh, hope the surgery went well. And like really, um, you guys don't know how much it helped me to to really read that. Um, if you watch the Mighty Men video. Um, I've kind of had a, a little rough with uh, with my girlfriend, ex-girlfriend, um, and I don't really want to talk about it. Uh, I got a little teary in the last video, so um, it hasn't really been easy. I actually had uh, some complications during surgery also. Um, I don't want to cut that short, by the way. I really want to, like, I really appreciate, fuck, I got to sign out of MSN. I really appreciate everybody who, um, who sent me uh, get wells and good lucks and really like it there's one guy actually um or one person who uh i don't know i made a comment in my last video how my cat and my mom are going to be my my biggest support systems and somebody reminded me not to forget about the viewers and uh it's true um i mean i really appreciate every one of you guys and um i just can't thank you enough so thanks uh um let's talk about my surgery now um so Tuesday, March 17th, I went in, and I um, probably went under at about 11 o'clock, 10.45-ish, 11 o'clock, and um, it turns out I didn't even, I didn't even have keyhole. Um, I had uh, the peri procedure, which I think it's called peri. I just call it drawstring. Um, so they cut around your nipple, and um, they take everything out. They leave your nipple on a pedestal, so there's blood still, still flowing to it, and you're... Um, yeah, so you don't lose your nipple, and they take everything out like that, and they, like a pair of sweatpants, they kind of stitch around the excess skin and pull everything in, and my surgeon was so meticulous, and um, he said he wouldn't do it if uh, he didn't look right, and he would, um, you know, take stuff out and stitch it, and then take stuff out and stitch it, and um, I said I wanted my nipples re reduced just a little bit, and um, he was so good about that, like, I could not be happier um, as far as the puckering around the nipples go so minimal and so perfect like it's already so smooth that once I start working out um, I really won't have a problem like it'll be great and uh, I love the fact that there's no really immediate scars um, and I consider myself very very lucky to have this procedure um, my doctor was uh, Dr. James Wolfley by the way like best guy in the world like I highly recommend him he's so caring um, very meticulous and just like he's so understanding like he was he was really a pleasure to work with um and he knows how much i appreciated the surgery also which was good um but uh so i went home at about five thirty. um but i got home and like 15 minutes later my mom went and got me my painkiller she came back i'm very, like i'm really really lucky i didn't i had like one glass of water and i didn't eat anything um because shortly after um i had uh, a button-up shirt on i took it off uh and I noticed that my right side was very, very swollen. And um, he had warned me about that to call him if anything happened. And I developed a hematoma, which is a collection of blood. And it's like the return of a boob, um, return of the living boob, I guess. Like it was just swollen and it was bad. I freaked out. So we called him. He said, we got to get to another hospital immediately. The hospital I had surgery at was um, way on the south side. So I went to one just across the river, kind of the closest hospital, and he took a look at it, and um, my drain wasn't able to pull, um, wasn't able to pull all the blood out, and we tried everything. We pulled the, the hose off my drain and tried to vacuum and tried hand, kind of syringing it, um, and no go. So I went, uh, that was probably at about 7 o'clock. We made it to the other hospital, like 5.30, probably there at 6 didn't see him till 6.30, and then we were leaving that, um, we gave up at 7 o'clock, and we made it back to, uh, the Grey Nuns, um, which is the hospital that I had surgery at, and, um, we performed surgery again at probably 11 o'clock at night, maybe 10 or 11 o'clock at night, so 12 hours later, I was back, uh, back under, and, um, in the OR, and, uh, he really, he, um, opened me back up through the same nipple, and, um, to the same nipple I don't yeah it had to be the same nipple and um, pulled all the fuel fluid out and then sprayed some stuff that really kept everything um, 
kept the capillaries a uh, little bit more tight, and um, it was perfect. Like, it went really, really well. Um, my nipple, this nipple, however, I wish I could show you guys. Um, I'm wearing a binder under this, and I shouldn't take it off. Like, um, next time I have a shower or something like that, I'll, uh, um, I can see my nipples also, which is great, so I'll show you guys um, that um, as soon as I can. I'll show you the side profile in a minute stuff and stuff too. Um, but there's under that nipple, you guys will see. Um, there's a bit bruising and uh, discoloration. And he said uh, it won't be permanent, but um, it will. Excuse me, it will stay with me for a little while. Um, but I'm totally, I'm so okay with it. It's like flat, super flat. I didn't think I needed to wear the binder, but um, he said keep doing it, and. Um, I'm, I'm so, so happy with the results. He really performed a miracle. And I told him he changed my life and I think that really got to him. Um, uh, but I am so, so happy. Like, um, you guys are probably like, why do you have only, why do you only have one drain in? And I went today to get my drains removed. Um, but because the side was sprayed down with stuff and closed back up, um, the bleeding for the drains was a lot, lot less. So I was able to take this one out, but on my, my left side, which didn't get the spray in hindsight, he kind of wished he did. Um, but he only sprayed this side because he had to open it again. Um, so this one still stays in. It's bleeding a little bit, uh, but enough for the drain to stay in, which is sucks, but I'm glad for it. It's this side's also popped out a little bit more. If it, um, if it stayed like this, I don't think I'd be too bummed out, but there is some more fluid I'm just trying to really work out and it sucks that my drain isn't really pulling by itself. It gets like, it'll fill the line up and then it won't get into the, to the grenade. I call them blood, blood grenades. They're called JPs though. Um, I don't know what it stands for. And I just kind of, you have to milk it all the time to get it filled up. So, um, I'll show you guys, uh, oh, see, I kneel down for this. My legs fall asleep. Ah. Um, So yeah, you can see uh, you can see all this bruising I have on this side. Um, this side is the only side I have bruising on, by the way. But that's it. Um, doesn't hurt. I'm off painkillers. Uh, like this is almost doesn't even do it justice, but it is like really, really flat, and it's it's good. Uh, and this is with my binder on too. So. I am uh, incredibly happy, and I want to show you guys the results um, without some bandages and stuff as soon as I can. Uh, but yeah, thanks to everybody again, and um, hope maybe tomorrow I'll make a video right after my shower and show you guys. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty stoked about it, and I know uh, a lot of you guys want to see it. So um, thanks again to everybody. I, I really, really appreciate it. You don't know how much it means to me. And um, keep watching. Thanks, guys.